Welcome to QMS series presentations. In this presentation, we will see in detail about FireWire analysis or FireWire tool of investigation. Here, we will try to answer the most frequently asked questions about this tool. That is, whether it is compulsory to ask five questions while investigating, when to use FireWire tool of investigation, where this tool is not to be used, and can we use questions starting with where, what, and when while investigating. Here first we need to be very clear on the purpose of investigation tools. Basically this investigation tools gives a systematic approach to find the root cause and the contributing causes. Usage of investigation tools gives a presentable form to the investigation and these are the proven methods to get the root cause. Nowadays it is a regulatory expectation to use investigation tools while investigating. Now we will move to the very frequently asked question about FIVA analysis or the FIVA analysis investigation tool that is can we ask less than 5 or more than 5 questions while investigating. So here we need to be very clear on the purpose of this investigation tool or any investigation tool is to get the root cause or the casual factors not to ask a fixed number of questions. Whenever investigation team come to the conclusion for the root cause initiated investigation can be stopped Yes, viva analysis can be stopped at third or the fourth question. In case if investigation team thinks that they need additional questions to be asked, then the team can add a sixth or the next consecutive question to get a root cause. Note that ultimate purpose of any investigation tool like viva analysis or any other is to get the root cause. In such cases, we can rename tool of investigation from viva analysis to the viva analysis and update the applicable SOPs to do so. Coming to the next frequently asked question that is can we use questions starting from when, what, where or who in this tool of investigation. So here we need to clear on that this tool of investigation fall into the simple tool of investigation and this can be used in combination with the other tools like brainstorming, report from SMEs and and we can mold this to get the root cause. Commonly in this tool of investigation question starting with W that is why are asked to get the problems root cause. Yes question starting with when, what, where or who also can be added based on the investigation requirement and the agreement of the investigation team. Now we will understand where to use YY tool of investigation. Basically, YY tool of investigation is a simple tool of investigation and can be made applicable to any discrepancy, deviation or incident. It is always advisable to combine this tool of investigation with other tool of investigations like report from SME and brainstorming. Most commonly applicable areas for YY tool of investigation are document errors, human errors, machine breakdowns, etc. Now we will understand where not to use YY tool of investigation. Being a simple tool for investigation, this might be found inadequate to get root cause for complex investigations. Here complex investigation means where multiple factors are contributing to the root cause. Examples of complex investigations are microbial excursions, contaminations or media fail failures or market complaints like. To clear the concept, we will go through the one example where the YY analysis tool is used. Consider a problem statement wherein a product yield is observed at a lower side. First, we will ask a question why low yield is observed for the particular product. If we got the answer due to the filling machine breakdown, the number of rejection wires were observed on higher side, so we got the yield on a lower side. Then we will ask a next question to a answer of first question. That is why filling machine breakdown was observed. If we got the answer for that is due to the malfunctioning of syringe piston set, the machine breakdown was happened. Now we will ask a next question to the answer of previous question. That is why malfunctioning of previous pump is observed. This is a question to the answer of second question. Now the answer of third question. If the answer is after preventive maintenance, 
the filling pump setup was done wrong this is the answer of third question now you will ask a question to answer of third question that is why filling pump setup was not checked after preventive maintenance here we got the answer as sop for preventive maintenance or operation of filling machine doesn't instruct to take machine trial after preventive maintenance here we got the root cause as a uh, sop is lacking for the instructions to do machine checkup after preventive maintenance here we can assign a appropriate kappa to avoid recurrence of this root cause thank you for watching click on right video to understand how to classify change controls in pharmaceutical industry and click on left video to understand the few tips to write the division description.